I mean, I stepped on the scale and I saw that I lost the weight and I was like, Th this can't be real. Obviously, this can't be real. I cannot believe it worked. Oh my God, if you're interested in knowing how I lost the weight and continue to lose the weight, keep on watching. I am on a whole nother level. Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him. Girl, I guess he didn't know any better. Girl, that man didn't show me ever. Do all I can just. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tashina Beauty. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because I don't know if you know, girl, but I bring you affordable hair, makeup, and clothes on a budget. And if you're oldie but a goodie, thank you for rocking with me. Let's jump right into this video. Now, this is not a hair video, a makeup video, or a clothing video, girl. Today, we're going to talk about real life stuff whatever female go through I don't care who you are but I know you go through these stuff I know we all struggle with our weight right I was at my smallest before I had my first daughter and then I gained a lot of weight and before I could even get a chance to lose that weight I had my second daughter literally like I think a year and three months later I had my second daughter and I had her in December of December 29th is when I had my second daughter and I gained all this weight and I hadn't had a chance to lose it because it's it's just been hard with monitoring two kids being a wife doing school work all of this okay all of this takes time and I didn't know how to do it so I resorted to methods that I knew before so let me tell you how I lost the weight so you guys could probably try it. I'm not a dietitian. Disclaimer, I'm not a dietitian. I am not a doctor. Um, all the things that I'm going to mention in this video is what worked for me. These things probably could work for you too. I'm just telling you what I did. I'm not telling you necessarily that it's what you have to do. I'm just telling you what I did. So the first thing that on my list that I actually thought about trying and I did get to try is teeny. Now, Teamy did reach out to me and send me their Teamy Skinny, but before that, I actually wanted to try their product. I know a few people who did try their stuff, and it did wonders for them, right? So I tried the Teamy Skinny. I got the Teamy Skinny, and I bought, with my own money, the other one. It's not here yet. The Teamy Colon. That's not here yet, but I bought that with my own money, which is coming pretty soon. And I am excited. So the Teamy Skinny, I thought, okay, this is all a hype. Everyone I know use it. They say it worked for them. I need to prove this for myself. So I tried the Teamy Skinny out for nine days along with other methods that I use. And I can't believe, but I dropped six pounds in eight days. Now for me, that's hard. That may be easier for some people, but six pounds for eight in eight days, that, that, that is beyond crazy to me and the funny thing is I wasn't even dieting the right way that I should I started to diet the way I should now because I'm starting to take this really seriously but it works so this is what the teeny skinny looks like let me see if I can find it okay so this is what the teeny skinny looks like you come in this packet right <clears throat> And it's a bunch of loose leaf herbal tea. Now, if you're not a tea drinker, this might be a problem for you, for you, but I love tea. Now, I can't take it out so you won't see it. So, but in the bag, right, it's all small um, tea, right, and loose leaf tea. So I got the tumbler, and this is what the tumbler looks like. And it says teeny on it and they have a variety of colors that you can choose you don't gotta get pink like me um i steep it sometimes in this tumbler and sometimes in a cup i don't necessarily have to use a tumbler um, if you have like one of those strainer things you can just put the loose leaf tea in there and that works but i love this tumbler because you unscrew the cap right and inside the tumbler inside the tumbler is the strainer if I can get it out. Okay, there we go, because I kind of stuck it in there. This strainer thing right here, okay? So you can steep your tea in the cup 
and then put the strainer in there and cover it up and there you go you don't got to do much um the bottom doesn't screw from this and there is a cup inside of here sorry you unscrew this part too and this is actually where your tea goes in and this is the outer layer so but when you put your tea in this right i don't suggest that you try to drink your tea right away you need it to sit and steep for a little bit so what i do is i pour the water in put the loose leaf in which is one teaspoon not a tablespoon one teaspoon there's a difference guys one teaspoon you put it in you put you throw hot water on here in here um you let it steep for a bit i put the strainer in it actually and let it steep and then after it's finished steeping I just put the cap back on and that's my tea for the day so I drink the tea I think I drink it I use one teaspoon right and that lasts me for about three cups of tea um, three of this full of tea so that's a good amount when you throw hot water on it the tea do, the leaves do expand which is pretty cool um, so that's why you get three teas three cups worth of tea out of it it does help me to not feel bloated it also helps me to like get energy and I noticed that I'm like a little bit more energized because I was under the weather meaning I had the flu and um for and I was getting over the flu before they sent me the product and it kind of boosted me up a lot it boosted me a lot and it kind of lightened my skin I don't know there was something about this tea honestly I was I was I was shocked I was shocked of how much I lost with the drinking this tea and I know it is it I know it's it because I was doing the other stuff and I didn't lose that much within a week to, within eight days time so I know it's honestly the tea that helped me to do that hence the reason it's called teeny skinny um I do have a discount code for you guys it's called it's, it will be in the description box so check the description box but teeny blinds that's number one on my list let's jump into number two so number two on the list is intermittent fasting okay guys so i don't know if you guys have heard of this but intermittent fasting is you have a set window of when you will actually eat and then a set window when you fast so what that does is your body is able to break down food in the time that you're not eat, eating which is your resting stage and it will be able to burn all that all your fat all your fat cells that you're you have there and then you'll be able to lose weight so your body stores fat um because you know back in the day <laughs> or ancestors right we used to eat we still have a certain amount of period time that we could eat because of hunting season or farming season so our body stores and then when you have on the on the time that you don't have any of those food anymore your body would use up all your fat cells so intermittent fasting a lot of christians a lot of religious people actually do fasting and this is what works for them too it's called intermittent fasting honestly we're not supposed to be eating 50 million times throughout the day you need three meals a day to survive maybe not even three your body can survive unless honestly it can and you don't need to eat 50 million times so what i do is i have an eight hour window i wake up in the morning and i do not start my breakfast well i don't my first of the day is honestly at 11 or sometimes at 12 and i stop eating at six o'clock and I don't eat again until that time. So I have an eight hour window. I'm going to eventually cut that down to a six hour window till I can cut it down to a four hour window. Intermittent fasting has worked for a lot of people that I know. I think you should guys to honestly try that. When I'm doing intermittent fasting, I have not yet done where I'm eating just vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. I haven't done that. I've been eating whatever I want and this has helped me honestly it's helped me a lot so i don't know <laughs> yeah it, it worked without me even doing cutting out a whole lot of stuff my goal is to also cut out bread rice pasta so heavy carbs and dairy i want to cut out and i don't want to be drinking soda and juices i actually, actually I don't drink soda anyways and i've not been drinking i've been able to not drink juices i've been drinking a lot of water so yeah try intermittent fasting 
let's jump on to number three so number three on my list would be you guys need to get a food tracker okay now i use my fitness pal and i know you have a bunch of other apps out there that you can use but that is one of them that i know about um so i use my fitness pal because i've been using that forever ever people use weight watchers app they use a lot of different apps i use that so i can track the amount of food that i am eating when because i'm taking this seriously now before i wasn't taking it serious but just now i'm taking it seriously you need to see what your body's taking in okay what it when you get on the app it asks you to put in your macros what you want minimum percentage of fat you want to have how many percentage of protein you want to have how many percentage of carbs you want to have i suggest you find out what your body needs i would suggest you lower the carb amount get a good amount of protein and a good amount of fat you have diets like keto paleo vegan try any of those diets but work with the macros that work for that specific diet and make and tailor it to fit you okay so if you say you want to try vegan the vegan diet you always wanted to go to a vegan diet try that diet you say you want to try keto do keto um i am thinking about trying keto i am solely progressing myself into it and it's the reason i'm cutting out a lot of stuff to put myself i'm not jumping right on full head in a lot of people can do that i can't i am trying to get myself slowly but surely into it so i tailored my macros to fit me i need a higher amount of protein and a low amount of carbs right like unhealthy carbs I need a high amount of I need a good amount of healthy carbs so there's unhealthy carbs and there's good carbs for you okay where you have your broccoli your Brussels sprouts stuff like that your celery your kale your spinach greener the better is good carbs and then your stuff like you don't need rice you don't need flour okay we think we need it but we don't need those bread we don't need to go to these restaurants and pick out the bread you don't need to go to Olive Garden all the goddamn time and get the pasta you don't need to do that girl stop doing it stop doing it I'm not judging you girl but you don't need it you don't need it okay summer's right around the corner we got work to do you don't need it okay so get you a tracker so you can see what you're eating and you can you and then when you you can hold yourself accountable because you know you gotta punch in on that thing every time you put something to your mouth you gotta punch it in so you know you ain't gonna touch it because you don't want to see it there and know what the heck it just did to you so yeah that's my number three um the third tip that i have for you guys now the fourth tip i have for you guys honestly and i know this may sound stupid you're like okay girl everyone should know that but not everyone knows it but not everyone does it if you don't know it i'm letting you know now you need to drink a gallon of water every day put the soda down put the juice down put sometimes you can have the coffee because i ain't taking away nobody coffee from them i ain't having nobody kill me and nobody walking around and work angry because of me but you need to drink a gallon of water every single day when i started drinking a gallon of water i realized that my skin started clearing up i felt more lively my body felt like it was not starving and it helped me so i didn't eat so much because a lot of the times you think you're hungry but you're not you're actually thirsty your body needs water and a gallon of water works you need to drink it and if you can't drink a gallon of water that's fine drink close to a gallon of water sometimes it's hard for me. i hate water i hate water and i and, and and i don't know what happened but i i am ha i have to make sure i put myself in the mindset that i have to fall back in love with water so even if you got to chug a bottle just just do it six i think so this bottle of water right here right this is a 6.9 ounce bottle and you need to drink seven of these to make a gallon seven of these bottles of water make one gallon okay seven of those make one gallon so try to hit five may make a goal for yourself hit three 
hit four until you make it to that seven and when you hit the seven you can always go over that but you need a gallon of water yes you're gonna pee a whole lot but that's another thing you're gonna see the difference of when you go to the bathroom TMI you're gonna see the difference when you go to the bathroom from you drinking that soda and that juice all the time that you love to when you're drinking that water okay so drink one gallon of water that helps cleanse your system it's actually make you know when you're hungry from when you're thirsty water now the fifth and final thing that I've been doing that has been also helping me recently is eat and in the past it has helped me too is eating in a deficit now a lot of the now I know it's the best I say the best for last I should have put it probably at number one but eating in a deficit so what I mean is if your body needs 2,000 calories to survive um, if you feel like you need 2,000 calories for the day to survive because that's what the normal standard is you can take 500 of that off and now you only need 1,500 to survive some people take a whole thousand off and rely on 1,000 I know someone who actually who's eating at um, I think 800 and something calories I don't know how the girl do it, but it works for her, okay? Sometimes you can eat a 800 calorie for the day. So when you eat in a deficit, you are losing. So when you eat what your body needs, sometimes it let you hit a plateau. You know when you start good and your body hits a plateau, it's because you actually need to then change a little bit of stuff up and eat a little bit more less in a deficit. So if you want to have carb for the day right so you want to have that rice you want to have that pasta just know that when you eat a specific amount that may take up a lot of your calories for the day and then you're done one cup of rice will probably take up half of the amount that you need and then you're done for the day in carbs but you can eat your you can eat your meat and you can eat like um, no more vegetables because obviously vegetables are part of that carb group right there um and you can't have no dairy so you, you girl stay away from the, the, the rice and the pasta but eating a deficit helps you to lose so i don't care what diet you're on you have to be in a deficit and that's what i've been doing i used to be um, so for my life, my life, I've always been heavy. I've always been over 200 pounds. I don't remember a time where I wasn't, when I was in school, um, and I was in primary, not primary school, I was in high school, I wasn't 200, but I was 100 and something, and I was bigger than the rest. I'm short, and I was a little bit chunkier. Um, sometimes I didn't even look chunky, but I, I was heavy on the scale. So I... I lost a lot of weight, right? I had I lost a lot of weight, and then I had kids, and now I'm gaining. I gained it all back. Lord knows, I gained it back. But a girl's on a mission to lose them, so I think you guys should try any of these methods or even implement all five. And I honestly feel like you guys will see results. Get you a scale, girl. Get you a scale. Don't let her be your enemy, though. Don't jump on her every five minutes. You don't need to do that. You don't need to. You don't need those stress and those problems in your life. Don't do it. But get you a scale so you can track. You have like you can go to Walmart um, or any anywhere actually and get a, one of those digital scales i think they're like 26 bucks you can even find one for 18 dollars at walmart and they're good and some of them you have trackers on your phone for them um check amazon ebay sells scales too but amazon probably is your best bet to get a really good one for a really good price but get a scale don't stress yourself out as i said before but try this stuff so if you guys let me bring it here what i did i use my teamy skinny i'm gonna get the colon i'm trying the 30 day detox honestly i think you guys should judge it, should try that because they are actually having a sale right now on the 30 day detox so use the code that i have listed down below you'll get 25 percent off do intermittent fasting drink a gallon of water make sure you track your food and make sure <clears throat> What's the other one? Eating in the deficit. Sorry, eating in the deficit. So I've been doing all those five things. Teamy, water, food tracker, eating a deficit, and drinking a gallon of water. No, intermittent fasting. 
Sorry, I said again, I'll work intermittent fasting. So try those stuff. Let me know what working for you guys. I will share my weight loss journey on you. I'm going to start showing my weight loss journey with you guys. And I'm doing all this so I can hit a certain goal before I start working out. And that's my goal is to hit a certain amount of weight loss before I start working out. Because my body builds muscle before actually losing anything. And a girl, sometimes that's discouraging. So I need to lose some weight before I start working out because I can't be bulked up and on my step on that scale I'm stressed the heck out I can't do that so guys I hope you enjoy this video I know it's not my regular hair video or makeup video I'm gonna agree I'm gonna start putting those back out I know I've been MIA and I know I keep making excuses guys and I really am sorry but life is a little bit cray cray so guys thank you for watching this video and you already know i love you guys i appreciate you guys hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and you love what you see check out my other videos i got some things running across here you can always check those out too hit the like button hit the subscribe button leave me a comment down in the comment section below share this video with your friends and family i'm sure they would enjoy watching me too just like you just did girl Thank you guys for rocking with me. Until next time, this is your girl Tish. Oh, follow me on Instagram, guys. Come on, what are you doing? Follow me on Instagram. It's Tishina underscore beauty. And I know you can't remember that. Just check the description box. Check, check, check the description box. Okay. Until next time, this is your girl Tashina beauty. Bye.